Speaking about irony, uh, we have always been told, and I hate this. It, it's one of those things that really bugs the fuck out of me, you know? These Europeans all the time touting and flashing and saying, Oh, we Europeans are more progressive. We are more pro-gay than you Puritan Americans. Irony! <laughs> well, this week, Puritan Americans in Washington, Maryland, and Maine, and including Minnesota, said, you know what? Fuck this shit. Let gay people get married. In Minnesota, they stopped that horrendous marriage amendment. And now the legislature looks like might uh, legalize gay marriage. I don't think it's going to be right away. And that's actually a good thing. We have to be patient and wait on that issue in that state because, uh, you know, I mean, look, uh, liberals have been saying, you know, why do conservatives or social conservatives concentrate on gay marriage and social issues? Well, you're going to have to do the same thing. You know, you're going to have to walk the walk. You know, the first few things that the Minnesota lawmakers are going to talk about is the economy and, and spending and, and all these other things that they're going to have to uh, take care of in, in Minnesota. Okay. Um, and then later on, probably by the end of the session, we might see something happening and i think that would be a good thing uh because they pretty much received the blessings of the voters you know the the voters have a chance had a chance had a chance to stop gay marriage but uh you know they said no that, that that's fine uh, and so the french people though are, are are not they're not being that optimistic i mean they're not giving us any hope it's kind of funny that that the french have come out in full force. I mean, you have all these coalitions, all these people coming out on the streets, all these interpretive dancing butterflies and <laughs> other fruity shit that they're engaging in. I mean, I've seen some pretty fruity shit being done by some of these anti-gays here in America, but the French really take it to another way, way other level. I mean, they're up there with the fruity shit, doing interpretive dancing. <laughs> To stop gay marriage. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Interpretive dancing is going to stop gay marriage. Fucking fruity shit is that. And uh, uh, it's funny. I mean, it's, it's just really hilarious to me. It's sad, to be honest with you. We are French people. We are so progressive. We smoke cigarettes while we are giving birth, you Americans. <laughs> Uh, but you know the French they cannot lecture us anymore you know the French always tell you know French British you know Europeans uh, they always lecture us oh you Americans are so backwards now it's backwards you dumb pricks you fucking dickheads shut the fuck up already you know you're no better than us you might say, oh, look at Texas. Oh, look at the, the South. Oh, look at look at these other areas. Yeah, yeah, I know. But these areas are improving. I mean, look, look at the South, for instance. There are gay centers there. There are gay pride parades in the South. Can we do that in Serbia? Oh, no. <laughs> they'll, <laughs> they'll throw bottles and rocks at you. They'll probably kill you in Serbia. Or in the Ukraine, they'll kill you. They'll beat you up if you have a gay pride parade. Slovakia, look at those areas. In Italy, they'll harass you if you have a public gay wedding that's not even recognized. Doesn't it's not even illegal? It's just a ceremony. But at least in the South, gay people can still have their ceremonies and all that shit. They can parade down um, uh, the streets of Biloxi, Mississippi. Right? We can still do that here in the South. Yes, we can. It's it's called free speech, but in the uh, in Europe, there's no such thing as free speech. Fuck that shit. Uh, and Italy, uh, look at Italy for example. There's nothing there. I mean, there's no there's no anti discrimination. Nothing in Italy. The uh, birthplace of fascism. 
Oh yeah, Italy is the birthplace of fascism, and you're oh now you're all progressive. That's kind of creepy, by the way. And then my point at oh no, but we have Spain, Portugal, uh, Sweden, uh, the Netherlands. Oh now now the Netherlands wanna limit the pot use, something like that. Yeah, something I don't know, but I guess they legalize pot in Washington and uh, Colorado. And these are big states, by the way. I mean, not population wise, but area. I mean, th these are huge states. And uh, if you combine Washington and Colorado, uh, it's probably what, like half of Europe? <laughs> and there's, oh, we are so progressive. <laughs> fuck you. Shut the fuck up and drink your fucking wine. Leave us alone. You know, but they can point at any fucking European country or European state and say, look, in Sweden and Norway and Denmark and uh, Luxembourg. Like, Luxembourg's a fucking country. Is it a fucking country? No, it's not. It's not, <laughs> it's not that pig. It's not even a country. They don't even have a government. Belgium. What is that? What kind of country is that? It's like the size of Palm Springs. They say, oh, yes, oh, yes, look at the, what, what we did there. Oh, look at what we did in Andorra. Do people even know what Andorra, where Andorra is? Have you heard of that country? It's a country in Europe. It's a principality. It's in the middle between uh, France and Spain. I, re I remember because I did a report on it in high school. I picked one of the smallest <laughs> insignificant countries because <laughs> I didn't want to work hard. <laughs> I didn't want to do my homework. So, uh, uh, Europe is a funny country, by the way. It's it, it's very cartoony. I mean, the, the the French are so they're so stereotypical, and they get angry for anything. Cause I've been to Paris. Like I was trying to read a magazine when I was in in Paris from this uh, newsstand, and I was just checking it out to see if I want to buy it, and then. Immediately, the, the guy behind the newsstand was like, Hey, are you going to buy it or what? This is not the library. You stupid American tourist. I kind of, you know, fuck this shit. We didn't need to hear this. All right, but now they're introducing this gay marriage bill. And it's past the first reading. So we'll see. We'll see if, if the French will redeem themselves. And, you know, they're going to have protests, probably more protests than what we have here in the U.S. Uh, over gay marriage. I mean, look at what happened with NOM, National Organization for Marriage. That's stupid organization. Look, look what they did. They had the, you know, the summer bus tour. Remember that? When they went around all these states and their bus and their bus driver, Louis Maranelli, I think his name was. He, he basically quit and sided with us <laughs> and wrote a book about it that, that was hilarious and uh, Louis and other people that were at these rallies they were like only like 20 people showed up <laughs> and they went to Iowa and like you know these um not so liberal states you know they went to Virginia uh West West Virginia they went to Pennsylvania you know these states uh, swing states basically and uh, yeah they were basically campaigning for the for the GOP that's what they were doing and they went to these states and like 10, 20 people showed up to their rallies, right? But it's funny that in France, though, when they had that interpretive dancing rally, whatever that was, that stupid fruity shit that they were parading, I, I, thought, I thought it was a gay parade. I was, I was like, oh, is this a gay parade? No, it's an anti-gay protest. <laughs> and so... Uh, Uh, they're gonna have thousands of people protesting in the streets already and that's kind of funny That's just the that I was like, well, you know in France, you know, it's all progressive You might get what 20 people maybe like here, you know, or maybe less because it's so progressive only five people will show up to these rallies Drinking wine smoking cigarettes and having butt sex No uh, Thousands of people showed up to these rallies they had rallies all, all last week against gay marriage and thousands of people showed up. And if you go here, to, if you look at America, like all these anti-gay marriage rallies, they had one recently in Maryland. 
and in Maine uh, during the election. Uh, and like, what, like 50 people at the most showed up to these rallies? And they were quiet, you know, they were just, you know, drinking wine, whatever, then talking about how to stop gay marriage and all that stuff. And they had a wedding cake, all that. <laughs> well, of course, with a, with a groom and bride on top of the cake. And so, and uh, they lost and, you know, that's fine. Then they went home. But the French, I mean, these guys are, are crazy. I mean, they're, they're out there shouting and screaming and, hey, we cannot have this. We cannot have this. We, we, yes, we are a progressive country, but not that progressive. <laughs> so it's really funny. And it, when, when people are starting to say that adopting gay marriage, we're going back to European values, uh, no. And I always say this, and I keep saying this, and I will always say this. Gay marriage is an American system value. Because here in America, we value individual freedom and liberty. And not only that, we started with this also with protecting the economic rights of families and individuals. And that's what we are about here in America. That's our economic system. It's way different from Europe. That's why gay people are fighting for gay marriage since the 1990s. Or, no, since the 70s. Uh, and that's where the whole thing started in the 70s uh, for recognition of gay marriage to protect the economic rights of gay couples. That's what we wanted to do. That's the whole purpose of this. Right? So, gay marriage is, is American as apple pie. And then, of course, uh, I think it was the Netherlands that legalized it in 2001. Uh, they were the first country to do so. The Dutch did it. And, uh, of course, it wasn't like, oh, yeah, let's pass it. No, they, they debated this. Uh, they, de you know, they debated this. And um, it wasn't as swift and easy vote as it was, as you might assume. Uh, but here... And uh, in, in the U.S., uh, the voters are becoming more more pro-gay marriage. So why don't we do this? Why don't we, if, if, if if France is so progressive and the and these poll numbers are actually correct, why don't we have a referendum on gay marriage in in France? And yeah, we, we we could do that because and in France um, there's no constitutional mandate for gay marriage anyway, so. Uh, their constitution is way different from our con Our constitution guarantees their, uh, equal treatment for all citizens, uh, providing the same government services for all citizens. You know, that, that's what we have, the 14th Amendment, equal protection. Uh, France doesn't have a similar, I mean, they have a similar thing, but it's not as, as, uh, as broad and pervasive as ours. So uh, uh, there's no constitutional mandate for gay marriage in France. So why don't we just do this? Since it's not a constitutional right, and I think the court, the French Supreme Court already said that. I think they already ruled that uh, there's no right for that. So why don't we do this? Well, if, if the people are on your side, why don't you just put it up for a, a vote, uh, put it up for a referendum? And that's what happens. Oh, let's vote for them. It's not gonna. It's, and I bet you it's gonna be so close, more close than the one than the, than the um, results we had in the, in the three states: Maryland, Washington, and Maine. I bet you they're gonna be so close. I mean, I bet we're gonna lose that one. The French are so hypocritical, by the way, more hypocritical than the British and the other uh, uh, Europeans. And, you know, I, I like European cars. I like some of the things over there. I like Gordon Ramsay and uh, whatever. But uh, enough with the, with, the, with, the, with the hypocrisy, basically. I mean, enough with telling us, oh, the, you're so progressive, the, you're so pro-gay. You're not. You're probably not that pro-gay as we are. Mexico's more pro-gay than Europe. I bet you that. But the problem in Mexico is that we have these corrupt cops who don't stop these hate crimes. 
as a problem that we have in Mexico. I mean, not just hate crimes against gay people, but hate crimes against everybody. That's what's going on in Mexico. We have a huge problem there. But Mexico's pro-gay. I mean, it, it you can get married in, in Mexico City or in Cancun, and it's recognized in the whole country. So I don't know what's the, you know, in France, you can't do that. In Europe, you can't do that. There, there's no European co cohesive uh, marriage law. So if you get married in, uh, say, in Norway or in Spain, it's not recognized in Italy or in France or in Switzerland or in Poland. It's not recognized. Or in Germany. So don't don't give me that shit that we are so progressive, you stupid Americans. Fuck you. Look at us. We are voting for it now. We uh, voters are voting for it now. When did we see that in Europe? Never. So shut up.